Okay, so today will be a different kind of video. It will be a tutorial-ish, vlog-ish video. So I kind of want to talk about drones, flying drones. I'm not an expert at drones, but I'm a big fan of drones. I take a lot of good shots, I take a lot of bad shots. So yeah, I'm an all-rounder. I'm just like any normal guy. <laughs> I'll probably split into five parts. So I'll give you five tips on flying drones. Not specifically on cinematics, but just like tips in general. So tip number one, study your area, know your area. Like example for this area, uh, for this shot right here, I know that there's actually a, a statue nearby, just not check the map, there's a monument type of thing nearby. That's why when I'm, when I'm flying the drone, I will actually look for that thing, that monument thingy, to go and fly over to shoot that thing, which makes more of an interesting composition when it comes to flying drones because you have to be creative when you're up in the air because everything you see from above is like it's just like that it's just there and how, how you're gonna make it interesting is up to you so tip number one study your area know where you're flying know what you want to get from the air because you don't really have a lot of time in the air except if you're using something like a matrix or like phantom 4 but in my case i'm using a dji spark so i have to know what i want to shoot what i want to get when my drone is out there okay so tip number two it's important to stay calm when you're flying the drone because just now i wasn't actually that calm when it comes to flying the drone because i know there's like a time limit and then i don't want to be under the sun that long and then I can't really see the monitor and I'm scared of my drone crashing. A lot of factors to play into this when it comes to staying calm. Flying drones is like, hmm, what could I use as a metaphor? It's like letting your child go overseas and then not sure what he or she will be after after like a few years. When she get when she get back home, you don't really know what's the result. So that's exactly how I felt whenever I'm flying my baby, my baby drone up there when I'm sending it. Um, off to the sky, I wouldn't know whether we get good results or we crash or we do some other stuff. We go crazy up in the air, so those kind of stuff. But regardless of all those factors, make sure to stay calm, know what you want to film, and then get the shot and then get down and then get back home safely a few minutes earlier if it's possible. Just make sure to have fun and just stay calm whenever you're flying, and then you definitely get the best results. Block life. Yeah, so tip number three, make sure you know your drone laws or drone rules in your country. For Malaysia, it's not that strict yet, I guess. Um, wait, hold on. It's because of the devil. There's, um, there's a plane over there and then I'm not sure whether my drone is that high yet. My drone is like around 150. If we're 120 meters, I wasn't disobeying the rules because the rules is around 150 meters, if I'm not mistaken, around there. So yeah, I just know that in KK, especially in the town area, it's quite hard to fly the drone because it's quite close to the airport. I can say basically everywhere, anywhere around KK, it's very near the airport. I'm not sure about the beach, so we will check it out later if we are able to go to the beach to the beach okay, so know your rules and regulation before flying because you don't want your drone to be ended up like getting shot down by someone or like getting controlled and <laughs> flying away from you or whatsoever you don't want to lose your drone so all countries have their own drone, drone rules and regulations so make sure to study them before you're going 
for flying your drone or if you're flying to uh, some other countries make sure to study their drone laws or whatsoever before flying them I remember Peter McKinnon saying something about like, like forbidding flying drones in Canada and the drone rules over there are quite strict like you have to apply for a license or whatsoever so, so yeah um, pretty dark days for drone flyers, drone pilots these days yeah too bad to hear that bro okay let's move on Tip number four, know your drone moves. There's like a lot of drone moves uh, you can apply when you're up in the air. It can be very simple and subtle, like just pushing up. Wait, hold on. Like just pushing up the controller to make the drone go forward. That might be it. And maybe push the controller up, but the drone's going going forward. It can actually um, ascend up, so it looks more dynamic. I would say. If you want to make the shot more interesting, you can actually go straight, go go forward and then go up and then pan down, tilt down the camera to make it more like a, what do you call that, over the head. There's actually a name for it about and I don't remember. I would say the bird's eye shot, the lean forward shot where if, if you're looking at something where I can do a quick example. We are looking at this thing where you lean forward and then looking up, yeah, this kind of shot. <laughs> And so there's a lot of camera movements that you can do with your drone that you can do like the orbit shot like what you usually do on a gimbal or just something as simple as pulling down the joystick or, or controlling the camera tilt whatever works for you but then I'll give you a bonus tip bonus tip right there this is to make sure to check your environment before performing any camera moves because sometimes where you are over the top where you have too many ideas in your head you tend to forget the surroundings of your drone. Uh, for my case, I'm using DJI Spark. There's only sensors on the front and at the bottom, so there's no sensors on the side. So when I'm doing like an orbit shot, I won't be able to see what's on my side, on my left, on my right. So um, in some cases, actually, there's like a few cases where I almost crashed my drone. But fortunately for me, I'm able to dash it, so my drone is still here. Because camera movements sometimes you have to move further away from your subject and then your drone has to fly like in a different position but sometimes you're flying in a direction where you can't you don't really have sight of the direction that you're going like for example going to the left you don't, can't really see what's going on on the left so sometimes you might hit a tree or the worst in some cases where you can hit like a building so make sure to check your environment before doing like, cam any camera moves like what I did like earlier just now I've been here already, but then I can't really find any spots to to vlog, to talk, because I don't want to be seen by anyone anymore. Anyone. So tip number five, I would say to practice as much as you can wherever you can. For example, for me over here, I don't think it's the best spot for me to fly the drone because this is more of a private place, like a Audi, or I'm, not, I'm not, not really sure what's this place. But then, just for the most optimal place to fly the drone, it might be at the beach, it might be like somewhere where you have like a bigger view, where you can see your drone when you're flying them. So those are the most optimum place. But for me, sometimes you can't really get to those locations. And then most of the time in those locations, those locations are pretty much being filmed by a lot of people already. So sometimes you just have to go to some random places to shoot because you don't really know what you're gonna get out of those random places. That's what I live by actually. Like for example, this video, this is not the optimum place to shoot this video, but then it might it can be interesting. It can be a place to shoot this video. Yeah, so just I would say work with what you have but definitely don't fly at a place with like very high restriction when it comes to flying your drones because like I said earlier you don't want your drone to be shot down or whatsoever well, just control so I would say for all those beginners out there who just got their first drone or planning to get their first drone make sure to find a drone that you can practice all the time like something like a Maverick Air would be perfect or like the DJI Spark like mine DJI Spark you can definitely get something like a Phantom 4 or like a Maverick Pro. Maverick Pro is actually okay, I'm not, not really sure. It's quite bulky for me. So it all depends on, on personal preferences. I mean, if you want to fly your Phantom 4 here, be my guess. But then it's, it's definitely gonna attract a lot of attention. 
and it's really hard to carry around. Sometimes when people see your drone, it might be quite intimidating and then you might you might get into trouble for flying your drone here. But for me, flying my DS Park, people would think that it's actually a toy. That's how that's what I would start. So it's pretty much forgivable for my case. So my thoughts of flying the drone is just actually to have fun, to have more stuff to fill in my videos, to have more interesting shots to, to be included in my videos. And then the ultimate goal is to have fun. That's my bonus tip for tip 5, is to actually really have fun. Don't think of all the hassles of setting up the drone, know your shots or whatsoever, all those restrictions. Those are just guidelines for you to have fun, to enjoy the process of flying your drone. Even though the scenery is not that good, so make, make something out of it. Or just take those shitty shots and then learn from it, learn, learn how to improve. And then just take better shots every time that you fly your drone. So that's my five, six, seven, seven cents for you guys when it comes to flying your drone. I really want to make this video when I did first got the drone, but then I never get a chance to. So yeah, it's a good thing I started this daily vlog. So in a way, it forces me to make more content and it forces me to make those contents where I don't really have the chance to do. So yeah, that's it for this video, I guess. If you're wondering why I'm here again, it's because of the singing competition. It's yesterday and today, so I'm here to accompany my mom. So that's why I'm here. And then we well, have nothing much to do except for playing the drone and then talking to you guys. I have no friends here except for my mom, which is family and not, not friends. But there are a few uncle and aunties though. But yeah, <laughs> but still, I have to do this video. Okay, so thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you will learn something from this. If you're like a if you're like an advanced drone pilot, if you're like a beginner drone pilot whatsoever. Hopefully, you get something out of these tips that I just gave you. I should have a lot more other tips to give, but then I think I have to go really in depth into them, maybe in some other videos. But this is just like a test. This is just like adding some salt to the food and then tasting them. Mm, if it's good, then you add more taste. Uh, I wouldn't use salt, I would say sauce. The secret sauce. Okay, so tomorrow will be my last day in KK and then I'll be going to Mary. So tomorrow will be the end of the daily vlog. I really want to say thank you to all of you guys who follow my daily vlogs. It's something that I really wanted to do, even though some of the contents are quite shitty, but then it satisfies me. So yeah, that's the optimum goal, you know, when it comes to doing all these videos. So it's to satisfy yourself before the audience, or maybe sometimes, like, sometimes you can work with each other in a way. Okay, hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it out, share the us, share the us to your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and don't stop and keep on creating. Yeah.